Well, I'm Kathy Sharvat. I'm one of the seasonal naturalists here at the Highfield Discovery Garden. I'm sort of the most plant focused of the naturalists, so I do a lot of the selection of plants for our containers. Container gardening is sort of like the best privilege in the gardening world because you can create an environment that's going to be well matched to whatever plants you're putting in. When I'm selecting a pot to use at home, uh, I think the important things are that it's a fairly substantial size, dirty, weather resistant, uh, drainage holes in the bottom, meets all your needs. When you're filling your containers, you want to make sure you don't use soil that you've dug from your yard. You're going to have the most success if you start with a, a potting mix that's made for containers. The most important thing in container gardening uh, plant selection is picking plants that want to live happily together in the same house. So you're not going to want something that wants full sun mixed with something that wants full shade. You have to find friends that will live happily together. When you buy a plant, it's in its own little package of soil in a little container. So the first thing you have to do is take it out of the container, and I usually just kind of turn it upside down, bang on it. You take it out, you kind of, I could call it tickling the roots, but you know, sometimes I take a, a tool and scrape the roots if it's real fibrous and, and real root bound. And then you, um, you know, have a hole that's about the same size as your um, ball of soil, and you put the plant in. But what you don't want to do is plant deep. You want to actually do what we call plant high so you look at what the level of the soil was in in your original plants root ball and never bring the soil up higher than that you always want to water right after you've planted because you've taken soil away from the roots and there's tiny little root hairs on the roots and you want to get them back in contact with the soil and the soil mo moistures how to maintain the pots once you've planted them initially it's just making sure that they're watered but not over watered I think the easiest thing to do is something called hefting the pot. So you teach yourself how heavy the pot feels when it's completely saturated with water. And then when you're going out to find out if it needs water, you just kind of lift the pot by the edge and you can feel whether it's heavy or dried out or not. If you give a plant the conditions it wants, you'll be successful. A little tender loving care. <laughs>